What's going on guys? So I have a Sprite deck profile for y'all today. Uh, I took this deck to Locals last night, tested it out. Uh, I made some important changes, I think. Um, I will go ahead and notate there's one or two cards in the extra deck that I would change. I'm just waiting on them to come in. Um, so we're going to start off. We're going to have three Sprite Blue for sure. <laughs> like this isn't arguable. Three Jet. A lot of people, I, you know, they say they just, you don't, you don't need three, but uh, you definitely need three in in Sprite for sure. Uh, because this card's a starter. I mean, it it's not your best starter, but it is a starter. Um, two Sprite Red. It, there's just too many times where you need the extender or something else. Uh, two Carrot. Spell and Trap Negate's good. Um, but a lot of times, uh, going first, usually the Monster Negate's usually better from what I find. Three Sprite Starter. Like, it literally in its name says Sprite Starter. Like, there's no reason you wouldn't play three of that. One Gamma Burst. You could cut this and only side it in going second and up this hand trap count a little bit in the deck. Um, but this deck does struggle to OTK sometimes um, through a board. Um, but this can actually help. And one double cross. This is like literally the best interruption. One of your best interruptions. It can bring back Toad. It's just there's so many things it can do. Okay, so that's it for the Sprite Engine. So, so believe it or not, the Sprite Engine is pretty small. Uh, but there is a way, there's a way to get to it, you know, so there's so many different ways to get to it. Um, <clears throat> any two level two bodies get you to the Sprite Engine, and actually, uh, even if they're not level two bodies, you can get to it. Here's our Toad Engine. One Swat Frog, one Mirror Mage, and one Freezing Curses of the Ice Barrier, Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier. Um, I have a cool line where... If you draw this, it it sucks, but and this is your only way to play because this happened a lot last night, so I did have to make that change. Um, but yeah, there's a really cool play. I'll show you in the combo. Uh, but just literally five cards in your deck for a toad, it's totally worth it. No, no pun intended. <laughs> um, nimble package. This is a one card starter, so you max out on this and two angler. Um, whether you send this. Or you summon this special, make stuff. It's just, uh, dude, it's it's so broken. Um, and then if you have an extender in hand, it just makes it that much better. Uh, hand trap count, three draw. I was playing ogre in the main, and ogre was just like a curse last night. Uh, this would have been much better. Uh, three ash, three imperm. Uh, if you're playing a lot of rogue. Droll is just so good. Three Valor. So I know you're thinking, that's only 12 hand traps. It is, and like I said, post side, you can go 15. Maybe even more. Um, and there's some cards you can cut, and I'll show you. Uh, but I think these cards have so much value. Foolish Burial. This is a great extender, great starter. Um, is it the best starter? No. But it, it does something. Something's better than nothing. One Talents, just for hoping you get it, you know. Um, called by, like, what's better than Called by at one? I mean, there's a reason these two cards are at one. They're so good. And then one Azarune. So, uh, one great thing about this deck is it's so easy to side for. Um, if you're in a matchup where Droll and Lockbird isn't that good, if you're in a matchup where you're about to go second, you side this out, side this out, uh, side this out, maybe even keep that in, but there's six slots easy going first. Um, you can side draw. I mean, it, there's the siding with this deck is very easy, and that's something I really like about it. There's a lot of decks that are a little troublesome to side with when they're very engine heavy, but the good thing about Sprite is it's it's not that way. Um, for the extra deck, like I said, I am missing a couple cards, but we're just gonna go with this. Uh, two gigantic Sprite. One Ninja Shadow Mosquito. This card is so broken. Toad. I mean, all of these are mandatory. Uh, Typhon. I think this is mandatory in Sprite just because sometimes you need a big body to help go for a game. Uh, Downard. And a Zeus. Um, Self-explanatory. Format. Zeus. I mean, what, what are you doing? Um, Almirage. This is going to come up critical in the combo later. Um, and you have the room to play it in this deck, so why not? 
SP, IP for that combo. Um, there's sometimes where you can go for this um, going first. I mean, pretty much any hand gets to this. Um, but there's some really cool stuff you can do with that also. Silhat Hat Rabbit in matchups where you know that's going to be good. Ten Pie. Um, Snake Eyes, it's good, but not just like the best. Uh, Sprint. These two cards right here. Uh, this one, right, of course, Sprint. Uh, this card probably comes out when I get my Mannequin Cat. That should be Mannequin Cat. Number 29, Mannequin Cat. And then this should be probably Cat Shark or Onimbaru Soul Sweeper. Um, and then Underworld Goddess, like if you have a bunch of weird stuff at your locals, Pearly, whatever, um, this is a good thing to have just for removal of troublesome monsters because this this deck can struggle against towers, monsters, and things like that. Um, but all three of these are flexible. These are the only three in the deck that I think are flexible, to be honest with you. I mean, of course, you don't have to play Zeus and Downer, but why not? Because, I mean, if you can make it... I mean, literally, a format Zeus can solo a game sometimes. There's a reason it's at, I think it's at one in the OCG. Yeah, I mean, it's so broken. Um, and it's going to get even better this format, I'm, I'm pretty sure, due to the new Razy All deck. Uh, I'm going to show you the side deck, just kind of tell you my theories on this. So, Solemn Judgment is one of the easiest side cards. It literally does anything, virtually. Um, it's very flexible. Um, unfortunately, it can't stop, like, branded fusion. Uh, well, it can stop branded fusion, but uh, effects to special summon. I'm trying to think of a good one, like Cartesia. It can't stop that effect or something. Um, so Strike might be better in certain situations, but there's no card in your deck other than Engine that is better than this card. So it's a very easy side choice going first. Um, as long as there's plenty of time on the clock. I wouldn't side this card in in like a game three with time. Uh, one D barrier. I don't know why I chose this. Like, I'll probably have to up this to three in all honesty. Because the Tempi matchup, it, you have a good matchup. But if they draw two board breakers, you're kind of cooked. Um, three Perulia. Three Cosmic Cyclone. <clears throat> going second uh, the theory behind this card is um, put this in maybe take out uh, some of your extenders and things like that and even if you have to take out like one hand trap of this, one of this, one of this like if you see this card you're going to draw at least two so the math works out um, two evenly matched, three cosmic cyclone um, this is probably what I'll change um I find evenly matched being not that great in this deck. Um, <clears throat> but, again, I, I think it's still good. So, I really, I'm really i going to have to really think about this one. Uh, because judgment in this deck is kind of necessary. Because Dark Ruler does hurt this deck pretty bad. Um, these cards right here are flexible. I just stuck this in the extra deck. So, I would probably bump all these up. And that would probably make this deck a lot more fluid. Uh, because you, you don't want to have like a bad stun matchup because there's still going to be a lot of stun around. Ghost Ogre only feels good rarely. Like it rarely feels good uh, for whatever reason. Um, it, this card was like cursing me last night. I was drawing it and it was just so bad. Like I would draw two of them. Like it would just be a dead card in so many situations or it'd be so low impact that it didn't matter. So um, either Nib or... Round off your D barrier and uh, evenly match because D barrier is really good uh, right now and it's going to get even better next format. I think you have to play dimensional barrier next format with Raziel at Malice. Um, well, not Malice because it's a link deck, but uh, as Amina, that's the one. Okay, so let's go into a combo and I'm just going to show you uh, since everybody knows the sprite combos, I'm just going to show you like the bad combo. If you happen to draw the brick, uh, the mirror mage. <clears throat> Let me find the mirror mage. Okay. All right. So the mirror mage 
let's just say you have no other way to play. You got like four hand traps, and which in the way I've built this deck, hopefully that never happens, but it can happen. The way I had it built last night, it did happen. So normal some of this, and they're gonna be like, okay, uh, <laughs> it don't do anything, and they're gonna be like, okay, you're gonna link away, effect. You're gonna grab the freezing chains. I'm sure y'all see where this is going. Um, but I'm going to show you anyway. So we're going to grab the ice barrier spell. Activate. It specials on activation. So Ash Blossom, like I doubt they ash this to be honest with you. I really doubt. Even if they have Ash Blossom, I highly doubt they ash this. So you get to this point at least. Um, now, of course, we're going to make Sprite Sprint. Sprint effect is going to dump none other than your angler. And now at this point, you're playing Sprite. Uh, once you start doing this, you're playing Sprite. Effect of Nimble Beaver, or Nimble whatever, uh, Nimble Angler, and you're going for this. So you, you do have some options here, but I think you, you're forced to go into your Sprite engine uh, at this point. So this combo line doesn't work good if you're uh, playing like which, if you were playing Fur Hire or something like that, you wouldn't be playing this. I don't think you'd be playing the, the Toad stuff. So we're going to make Gigantic. Alright. Gigantic. Detach. Um, and then we're going to Special Out Sprite Blue. Unless you already have it. Which, if you already had it, you wouldn't do this. So, Blue Effect. I'm going to grab Jet. Jet will special effect. You're gonna grab double cross. So you still end with a good amount of interruptions and I'll show you here in a second. We'll go through them all. But here's where you can kind of change things. So we're gonna have double cross. So at this specific point, if we don't do anything else, we have two interruptions. We have uh, this to detach this and then we also have this to uh, attach something to this. Um, which we're going to fix our zones, uh, and then we'll also have, either way, we'll have this as an interruption, one, two. So right now we only have two interruptions, but it's through like a brick hand. Hopefully we have four hand traps in hand. So at this point, you have two you have two options. So in, in my opinion, I would probably, it's kind of rough. You can do IP. Uh, but the issue with IP is um, this zone right here and sprint. You you would have to use the sprint the way the zones are. So I wouldn't do that. Honestly, I would make Silo Hat Rabbit and then go for your Azarune because it's a very strong interruption. And then at this point we would have, let's go through the board here. Okay. Because you really want double cross on the field with Gigantic. That way you can attach something to him. Um, I feel like that's a... You just don't know what's going to be best um, at that time. But this could also be Mannequin Cat if you're playing Mannequin Cat. Uh, and it could get you a, a Monster Negate or a Spell and Trap Negate. Uh, but either way, you still end with about the same amount of inter uh, interruptions. So we have the Sprint... Uh, the effect to detach and then bounce. Uh, it's going to, yeah, let me see how it's worded. Target on, on the field, return it to hand. So that's really good. One interruption, two interruption, inherent selling the gate, three interruptions right here, and then four, when this is specialed, it can destroy a card on the field. So against a field spell based deck, um, you get to destroy a field spell, uh, inherent summon the gate, uh, return on their next summon, and then attach. So hopefully, at bare minimum, you survive. You got four cards in hand. Hopefully, your other cards in hand, the way I've built this deck, like I said, it would have to be something like this, this. Like, there's not really a... There's nothing it could be to, to really be that bad. Like, unplayable. I mean, let's just say it was something like that. So, you know. I mean that that would be your 
brick hand, you know, brick hand. So four interruptions through a brick hand, which is really good. And then you, if there are three hand traps, you have seven interruptions and then called by like, hopefully, you know, I'm just being completely theoretical, but anyways, okay, let's go into another combo. One that actually is good. Um, and doesn't die to one interruption. So, because if they impart that, you're just screwed. But you still have three hand traps. Hopefully, you know, that's the theory. Um, let's just hopefully say that. Um, okay. Next combo. We will start off with our swap frog. Sorry, I don't have everything, like, perfectly planned out with my deck, but... Why is this swapped? I feel like I'm left-handed or something. Um, okay. Normal Swap Frog. Effect to Dump. So this combo is similar in the fact that you use the same card in the Ice Barrier card. You're going to use the effect to send Mirror Mage. <clears throat> effect to grab the Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier. All these combos get much effect to add this, not send. I don't know what I said. So activate special back. So this is second summon. And this again is hard to interact with, so Ash Blossom does stop this uh, at any point. Um, but a lot of times it doesn't matter because hopefully you have an extender. So now we're going to secure a toad. Your zones are important in this deck, so I would summon this in the far right zone, far left zone. Um, at this point, you're probably like, what would we do now? Well, we don't, because I forgot to tell you, in that combo, you really need something like this, or, <clears throat> or this. You just need some kind of other extender. It doesn't matter really which one it is. So we'll just assume it's starter. So we'll activate starter. This sucks going game three because you lose life, um, but you have to do it. So then we get Sprite Blue, special it out. We take 11, effect, we're going to grab, in this case, we're going to grab Jet, card advantage is everything, special uh, Jet, keep your zones like that, I would say. Um, <clears throat> effect, he's going to grab your double cross. We want to secure access to double cross early as possible. This is one of your best cards. So, because it's going to bring back your toad. All right, now we're going to go into Sprint. Our good friend Sprint. Sprint effect. We're going to dump. We're going to need this. <clears throat> dump angler. He's going to add, or he's going to special these two. Special these two. The zones don't matter here so much. Um, actually, they do, just in case. Just in case. So, do it like that. You just want this zone open, just so, just so we're clear. Uh, now, we make our gigantic. Gigantic sprite. Detach. Um, this is where, uh, you can also extend and still make Toad in certain situations. Um, yeah, but anyways, uh, let's see, we're going to special in this case, whether you want, just, if you want a special, I mean, if you want a Monster Negate, I'd special this. If you want a, uh, Spell and Trap Negate, you special Carrot. Um, but I think, uh, Monster Negate's probably good, um. <clears throat> because the only spells you care about are like certain ones um, but anyways uh, this is your board at this particular moment uh, you can extend if you want to but then you're going to lose out on this on this negate you can keep extending here and do this 
but then you you miss out on the sprint interruption. So it just depends on what what interruption you think is stronger in the matchup. Um, but the way you sequence it, it can actually work out. So sometimes this is stronger. Um, a spell and trap pop, inherent negate, omni negate, monster negate. So that's four. Uh, this was all off of two cards. And then you have this to bring back the toad. So five, so two omni negates. So <clears throat> let me show you. Uh, you would pass turn. In standby phase, your toad effect would go off. And you would special back. Um, let me make sure of one little thing. Uh, yeah. One frog monster from your deck. Yeah. Okay. So then we'd summon back. <clears throat> summon out this guy. Keep in mind your zones are important. So I'd probably just put it here. It plays into anima, but I don't, I don't think we really care about anima too much. Um, now they play. Let's just say they start off with Raigeki. Okay. Negate. Activate. Bring this back. Okay. Now, we have another Omni Negate. Keep in mind we still have three cards in hand. Um, say they activate a field spell. You activate this. Inherently summon this. Pop the field spell. That's two interruptions that we just did. All right. Let's say they normal summon their starter, Snake Eyes Ash, whatever, what have you. Um, negate and destroy. Because if you if you send this, you get to negate and destroy. All right. Now let's just say um, they special summon Dia Bellstar, the Black Witch, as a rune. Okay, let's just say they go talents, draw two, toad negate. Okay, so I don't know what else they could have at that point. <laughs> I doubt anything. They've normaled, they've specialed, they've tried to break our board, um, and it didn't work. So and we still got three in hand. We have two bodies for next turn, and then we draw just a random card for our turn whatever called by great so yeah i mean as you can see then you would just go into another gigantic uh do everything else and then go for the otk so uh it's really great actually i will show you that too just to help out so right here we're gonna make depending on your hand i'm thinking if you want to do this hmm Monster you control to the hand, you can normal summon one frog monster during your main phase, except, yeah, so that doesn't really benefit us. I would just go into this, depending on what your hand is. Uh, go into your second gigantic, gigantic effect. So now we're going to do the exact same thing. They should have an empty board, theoretically. Blue, blue's going to grab... <clears throat> Jet, Jet's gonna special effect. We're gonna grab Gamma Burst. So, and hopefully our hand has something else. Um, but what you can do here is yeah, so that would be three twenty. Five, so 55 and then 55 plus 27 that's uh, just enough for game so uh, yeah 27 25 so that's 52 plus 3 so it's just enough for game yeah that's right with the gamma burst um, and that's kind of why I like playing that in the main I was sitting there my math was not my math was not jiving for a minute. It wasn't working. Um, but yeah, this card's freaking broken. Um, so they end on an empty board, which, like I said, in that situation, I don't see how a deck breaks through that board, to be honest with you. Um, unless they have, like, Dark Ruler, 
and then droplet, you know, maybe maybe then. Uh, but even then, we still hold the Azaruna. So, so yeah, I mean, it's, there's so many, so many different things that you can do with this deck. It's really fun. Uh, probably one of the most fun decks that I've played in a while. I actually enjoyed playing it, uh, which is unusual, you know, for a lot of, a lot of the meta decks, you just don't, some of them aren't as fun, I guess. Um, but this deck is very, like, you use your entire hand to play this deck, and that's what's really fun about it. It, it really, um, it allows you to just do stuff that other decks may not do. Like, um, it's not as simple as normal summon Snake Eye Ash build a full combo board. It's like, how can I use this hand to the best of its ability? Uh, and not saying you don't do that with other decks, but Sprite is one of them decks that it just, it's, it's cooler in that sense. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.